I've been working on 12's electrical all morning. The original wiring harness to the back of the frame on 12 was in pretty rough shape, so I just ripped the whole thing out. And I am starting from scratch, so I've been working this morning at the back end on the tail lights. And running wires forward. This is the wiring harness that came off 12 that went back to the tail lights. It was in really rough shape, so I had to replace it. You can see here that the wiring harness actually had to be doubled back on itself because it was too long for the chassis. Also, it had been damaged at some point before, so there's actually a separate outside wire that was ran alongside it that actually did the tail lights. Additionally, there's just a lot of additional wires in here that weren't used or ever used. It's obvious Kenworth used the standard wiring harness for all their trucks, so there's extra wires in here for things like sanders that 12 never had. So by cutting it out and getting rid of it, I was able to put a nice clean installation of a new harness going back to the taillights. Now I'm going to throw this thing away. Here's the back end of 12 with my new wiring harness. There's really only four wires, left, right, tail, and then a backup light wire. So I just ran them uh, together, bundled them together with tape, and then put them inside of loom. Uh, I attached them to the frame just temporarily with zip ties because eventually the airlines are going to get redone as well, and the frame's going to get repainted. So I didn't want to put them under the cable clamps quite yet, so it's just temporarily zip tied up along the frame. It's a little bit darker out now, it's in the evening, and I thought I would turn on the lights just to check them. So these are the clearance lights. The lights themselves have been installed for quite some time, but I think I just got them wired reliably today. Uh, I'd had intermittent trouble with them, and I found somebody had repaired a wire with a suitcase connector a while back, and they did a pretty poor job of it. So I repaired that, and they seem to be working properly. The big accomplishment of today, of course, was the tail lights. I had to make a whole new wiring harness to run forward along the frame, and they are working. Tail lights are working, brake lights are working, and I hope the turn signals work, but I'm still working on putting a new signal stat in on the steering column, so it will be a little bit before I know about that. But otherwise, they look great. I'm tearing into the turn signals on 12, and I'm installing a new signal stat 900. The one that's in the truck appears to be the original, and it was not working. In ordering a new one, I noticed my new one had an extra wire, and also some of the wires were different colors. I opened it up just to trace the wire, see where everything was going, and I think I pretty much got it figured out. The red and black wires on both of them are for the right-hand lights, so the right front is red, and the right rear is black. The green wire on both of them is the left front. However, there is a difference between the old and the new one. On the old one, the left rear is a white wire, but the left rear on the new one is a gray wire. Otherwise, a few other differences. Uh, the black and gray wire on the new one goes to the stoplight switch where on the old one it was a blue with a yellow stripe and additionally my new one has a blue wire which is the pilot wire which will require me to upgrade to a three prong flasher my old signal stat has the original plug on it to plug into the wiring harness uh, in the truck my new signal stat does not, it just came with bare wires. So I will probably inspect and clean up this plug really well and I'll probably end up reusing it if I can. Before mounting the new signal stat on the steering column, I scraped away some paint. 
The signal sat gets its ground through the steering column, so you need to make sure that the metal strap that goes around your column has good metal to metal contact. I went ahead and spliced the old plug that goes in the wiring harness into the new wires on the signal stat. And what I did was I staggered the butt connectors so I wouldn't have just one big lump. It should lie smoother under the loom that way. Before I reconnect this plug, I went ahead and scraped the terminals clean on both sides and I have applied a dielectric grease. All right, so I got everything wired up and I just did a test, so now I'm gonna show you. You can hear the flasher clicking. Success. So now I need to make all the wires look pretty. The last test for my turn signals is the trailer plug. Appears to be working. With getting the turn signals working today, we're doing pretty good on lights on 12. I still have to do the headlights and the front marker lights. That's going to require making a new harness. But we have the turn signals, the clearance lights, and the tail lights, brake lights on the back working. So we're almost there. I'm getting ready to work on the wiring harness for the headlights, uh, forward marker lights, and fog lights. And it starts up here. This is the wiring harness manifold, for lack of a better term, underneath the dash on 12. And they are color coded. And so the yellow plug is the one that leads to where I need to go. Here's what I call the top end of the headlight harness off 12. And I cleaned it up and it was actually in really good shape. Uh, where the wires would Y, uh, it was just wrapped in electrical tape. So I took that off. I examined the connectors underneath. They were good. There was no corrosion or anything. So I went ahead and I coated them in a dielectric grease. And then I used a heavy duty adhesive lined shrink tubing to uh, cover those connectors so there's three places where it split so I did that for all three of those places uh, the plug is in good condition there's no uh, real corrosion in there so I think I will just use this because I have the plug and then I will just splice the rest of my harness into this the area in front of the front tires is a pretty brutal area for an electrical harness so to make my connections I use these butt connectors that have an integrated adhesive lined shrink tubing built in. So before I crimp them, I coat the ends of the bare wires with dielectric grease, put them in the butt connector, uh, crimp them down, and then I use a heat gun to shrink it. And I get a good seal there. And then to top it all off, I take another piece of adhesive lined heavy duty shrink tubing and cover the whole thing. So hopefully this will hold up. All right, so I got the upper end of the wiring harness put together and reinstalled in the truck. So you see the yellow plug there. It goes down through the floor. And then here it is here. So it splits off. This side here goes to the left headlight and marker light 
And then this other side goes to the right side of the truck, the passenger side. So the headlights, fog lights, marker lights over there. Plus there's some extra wires that I didn't need. So I capped them off with some shrink tubing. Right now I'm just working on the fog lights. I ordered new ones and I'm running new wires for them. I found this weed in the driveway today. Evidently it is, it was surviving by a razor's edge, uh, but not no more. Here's what's left of the right hand side of the headlight harness. I did cut it in a few places just to help with the removal, but otherwise it's still in pretty rough shape. So I am going to replace the whole thing. When I started removing lights and stuff, I did label the wires, but at this point it doesn't matter because since I'm rewiring the whole thing, it'll just be easier anyway. So here's my replacement for the headlight wiring harness for the right side of the truck. I only stock two colors of wire on the farm. Black for positive and white for negative and for grounds. I use colored electrical tape uh, to identify individual wires purposes. What do the colors mean? I don't know yet. I figure it out as I go but uh, each my wire is marked on each end uh, with the same color. Okay, so my old headlight plug was bad, so time for a new one. I was working on 12's headlights today and the passenger side high beam wasn't working. I figured it must have been the light, although the plug was in pretty rough shape too, so I decided to replace both. I took the light to Napa and he looked up the number and I believe the word he used was obsolete. Therefore, I had to buy a new light, but because the new lights are halogen, I actually bought two lights. And you can definitely tell a difference in the brightness between the two. Uh, this is the halogen. They're both on low beam right now and it is much brighter uh, than the older, just regular incandescent headlights. So I'm very pleased. I have another light. I'll swap it out and hopefully it won't make it so scary going down the road at night.